The dishwasher sounds may be featured in this video. <laughs> Welcome back friends. So today we are going to be doing an outdoor space. You all came along with me whenever I did our back screened in porch not that long ago. We really enjoy our outdoor spaces. We live pretty far out in the country and we just love being outside as a family and being able to have places and spaces set up to even do school outside. We do homeschool, so those things are important to us. We are going to be tackling our deck area today, and initially I really had big plans for this area. I wanted to put a table in and maybe an umbrella, make it like an outdoor dining space that could double as a school space. But the more I looked into it and the more that I assessed my other projects that I have going on this year, I decided that I wanted to take a more budget-friendly approach to this deck. I wanted to make it a space that we can still enjoy, a space we can still use, but maybe not break out the $1,200 for a table and chair set, and that doesn't even include the umbrella. So I really racked my brain on another way that we could set up this space and still use it and enjoy it, and specifically enjoy it into the fall. We are in the middle of summer right now, so I'm looking at fall, thinking about our activities activities and things that we may enjoy outside. So I'm going to show you how I've made this space usable as a family on a budget and we're also going to take a trip to the greenhouse. The first thing that I wanted to do was just sweep the deck off really well. There was a lot of leaves and other little nooks and crannies that had dirt in them and just wanted to clean it up before I started taking anything onto the deck. In the future, we may do more to this deck. As you can see, it is looking a little bit worn out, but it's still usable and it's still a space that I am so incredibly thankful for. So the first thing I did was take this very inexpensive outdoor rug and lay it out. I kind of like the idea of putting some bits and pieces of black into this space. And here I put some of these Adirondack chairs. Now, this is not my favorite color, this green. Definitely not my favorite, but I found these chairs at a local hardware store for a very discounted price with it being the end of summer. So I decided I'm going for a budget little makeover here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to save as much as possible. So I grabbed those and then I put these railing planters on. At my local greenhouse, I just asked them what plants work best for fall. I didn't wanna plant something that in a couple of weeks or even a week or two was going to die off. I wanted things that would either bloom this fall or that would be hardy enough to last until frost. So they were very, very helpful and helped me kind of pick out those types of plants. All right, so on my trip to town, I had actually stopped at a thrift store to drop off a donation, and they had this old coffee table marked down to $5. And I had a little space here on the deck that I wanted to fill in with something, either two chairs or a bench or something. So I decided to use this as a bench just for extra seating, we can pull around the circle of chairs or if I wanna set some plants out there, kind of could work as a plant holder. And I got an indoor outdoor spray paint that would help to protect it from rain and things like that. And I spray painted it black. Now I'm gonna work on the two planters that are going to be on either side of our steps. 
you're gonna see a very consistent theme as I work on the planters but I got a bunch of mums that are more of a rust orange color so all of the planters will have these rust orange colors in them and I think this fall I'm going to add in some cream and white pumpkins around these planters and then we'll have the pops of the rust orange and I just am so excited to see them bloom so right now we've got a lot of greenery in these planters but it won't be long and we'll have some fantastic blooms. So I'm sure I'll do a video where I'm adding little pops of fall decor into our house and you all will be able to see the planters in full bloom at that point, hopefully. So here I am adding in these little orange flowers as well. I cannot recall what they're called. Um, if I think of it, I will put it somewhere in this video what they're called in case you want to find something similar. They are more crawling, viney looking flower and just add some fun texture with it kind of spilling out over the pots. I also added those solar lanterns I used at our other house on the porch. They're still going strong. And then I went ahead and emptied another planter that I really hadn't used the soil it was like good potting soil still um and just started filling up my railing planters now in these planters i'm going to be putting a vining type plant that will continue to grow out over the side until frost and then a grass in the middle and then two of those rust colored mums on either side and since i am doing these planters a little on the early side for fall it's going to give these plants a lot of time to really grow and fill out these planters and look very beautiful until the peak of fall so i wanted to talk with you all a little bit in this video about the whole idea of being content finding contentment even whenever things aren't perfect so like i told you in the beginning of this video my ideal situation for this space was to have a gorgeous dining table and maybe even a new finish on the deck and you know a beautiful umbrella and added little pieces of this and that and i just decided that it wasn't wisdom and for this time of year and for the other projects I have going on, potentially next year, those things can happen. But I just want you all to be challenged to find contentment in an area of your house that may not be completely perfect. You know, you might have a laundry room or <laughs> somewhere that doesn't look very attractive, but you can clean that laundry room up. You can give it a few of your small touches and find contentment in those places and spaces. You all are gonna hear me talk a lot more about this because in reality, that is the root of not having too much stuff in our houses is when we're content and we can enjoy the things we have sometimes i've caught myself being so involved in material things and wanting the next thing that i'm not even enjoying the things i do have so i, I hope that that speaks to you today i hope that there's something in your house that maybe you need to give it a little love so that you can enjoy it a bit more so my mom had given me these hanging baskets um, so that she didn't want anymore and I thought oh I could totally recycle those and reuse those at our house so if you have a cone hanging basket like this and you want to plant in it fantastic way to do that is to set it in a bucket um, so I just pulled a five gallon bucket in here and then I put this I forget what it's called it reminds me of a fern but it can billow out over just like the vining florals I'm putting in this as well. So it'll be a really fun looking hanging basket until it's all done and put together. And I did not realize this, but these small orange floral flowers attract hummingbirds and as you're gonna see me hanging these baskets up you'll see that they are pretty much in the eyesight of our large windows 
connected to our sunroom and that's where we do homeschool on most days and so the girls will be sitting there doing school and suddenly we have a hummingbird right in front of them that is enjoying those flowers in those hanging baskets so that was such a neat little perk of hanging those baskets up and adding those flowers in so here I am adding um, this orange flower to the terracotta pot and I have learned my lesson with terracotta pots. They tend to absorb a lot of moisture so they work great for cactuses and things that you don't want to be very wet but for anything else they suck the moisture away from your plant and so what I do is I like to set the plant in its plastic container inside of the terracotta so it still looks pretty but it's not going to draw the moisture away from my plant. So now I am putting together this small fire table. I found this on Amazon and we have been enjoying this so much. It does not have a very large fireplace area in the middle of it. It's very, very, very small, but it's just enough to help us feel kind of cozy and just give a comfortable feeling to this space. It comes with these lava rocks that you put in the middle of it and it has a propane tank area underneath of the fire pit. I added in some throw blankets and some outdoor throw pillows that I was also able to find really marked down because it's kind of the end of that spring summer season. So there's so much marked down. I added in some solar lights on the railing. These were an Amazon find, super inexpensive, but such a big impact at night. They just give an extra bright light. And I also hung up some string lights as well from Amazon, but I don't always have them plugged in. So those solar lights give that extra little light at night. so excited to spend time out here. I know that our family is going to make amazing use of this space, particularly going into fall. I can't wait to see all the mums bloom and be able to add in pumpkins here in the next little while. It's going to be such a cozy area at night where we can all just curl up with a blanket and chat and spend time in the closing of our day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspires inspired you. Let me know what you're working on right now. If you're working on an outdoor space or some organizing, I always love to hear about your projects in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.